are you headed? A few miles down. It's not too far. Well, um, hop in. Well, thank you very much, young man. I didn't think I'd ever get a ride the way people are about hitchhikers these days. Thank God for someone like you. Yeah, no, no problem. You know, son, as you travel down this winding road they call life, you see a lot of places you expected to see, and some, well, are just not on the map. And sure, you might be lost, but if you drive around long enough, You'll find your way out. Is that so? Yeah. I guess you could say I'm at one of those places you don't expect to be at right now. You see, my wife, well, my ex-wife, she left me a while back. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, she never really understood me after I got back from the war. But I don't hold a grudge. You can't force people to change. They gotta do it on their own. You can try to guide them, but in the end, the decision is theirs. That's one of those things you learn going down this road called life. Of course, the road might seem dark at times, foggy, too. The road is wet sometimes, It'll leave an ice over if it's cold out. Sometimes these bad driving conditions might make you want to pull over on the road of life, but you can't. You just have to keep on going, take the good with the bad, until everything makes sense and you arrive at that destination you've been searching for the whole time. That's, um, some pretty interesting stuff you're talking about then. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just an old man with the blues. Okay, then. This is my stop. You know, son, there aren't enough good people left in this world. And I just want you to know, you're one of them. Thank you. Jonathan was arrested to death. Is that so? Polygamy. But he's innocent. If we have to take it to the Supreme Court, we will go as far as it can go. But he's innocent. Did he have more than one wife? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess he did. Well, then doesn't that make him guilty? It doesn't matter. We need a miracle either way. You know, speaking of miracles, uh, I think I was witness to one about an hour ago. This is no time for jokes, Aaron. Now, go feed Max and just leave me alone right now.
All right, Max, you can stop your bitching. Mom, course, me to get you some food. There you go. You know, I do believe my complaints are legitimate. After all, it is legally required that mother feed me. Well, seeing that mom's kept you in a cage your whole life, I doubt she really cares about her legal requirements. Well, whatever. As long as you have my food. So it looks like we're, um... I mean, it looks like mom's not gonna be a Mormon for much longer. Wait, what? Why? Well, her, um... Her Mormon friend got arrested. And, uh... I doubt she'll be doing that in the longer. Why? Why do you care? Oh, it's, it's no big deal. I mean, I know I would have have to been locked up again once we got to Utah, but... At least I would have seen the sun on the ride there. Is it, is it true, Aaron? What they say about the sun? That, that, it, that it rises in the east and it sets in the west? Is it true? Th that, that even sometimes when it goes down, that the sky turns pink in the, in the night, Aaron? The stars? That there's one big one to the north that, that can guide you home no matter where you are? Is it true? so sure about the star thing, but the sun's not really that interesting. Uh, oh, I, I know. Uh, I just would have liked to see the sun just once in my life. Well, um, just a thought, you know. This cage doesn't really seem that strong. I'm sure you can get out of it pretty easily if you wanted to. That way you could see the sun every day. Yeah, I guess. The more I think about it, the less, the less I want to leave. Sure, I'd like to see the sun once, but after living my whole life like this, I don't think I could function out there. I'd prefer to stay this way because it's, it's all I've ever known. Anything else would shatter my world. Well, have it your way, but that sounds stupid as hell to me. They do say that ignorance is bliss. Yeah, well, you live in a goddamn cage. I'm gonna go call Paul because apparently he's had a screw up day too. Aaron? Do you think you could get a piece of fresh newspaper for me? Don't you push your luck, Maxie. Sorry I asked. <laughs>